Ivan Tony is ready to leave Brentford in January, just a week after returning from his FA betting ban. The Brentford frontman has only returned to team training last Monday after an eight month suspension from all football activity for breaching FA betting regulations, but he's already sat down with boss Thomas Frank to discuss his future. Despite his commitment to Brentford, the England striker is understood to have outlined his desire to make the next step in his career, and Brentford will let him go providing their £60 million valuation is met. Chelsea, Arsenal and Tottenham are circling, and the 27-year-old, who turns 28 in March, is due to end at the final 18 months of his deal in January. Chelsea, Tottenham and Arsenal are expected to explore the conditions of a deal in the coming months before deciding whether to formalise their interest and while Brentford would ideally favour a summer sale to avoid mid-season distractions, Tony is prepared to push for a January move, meaning it's possible that he may have already played his final game for the West London outfit. The Blues are ruining not signing a marquee striker for Mauricio Pochettino the seller. Arsenal are long-term admirers, and Spurs are yet to get a like-for-like -like replacement for Harry Kane. Beast scouts are already working on a shortlist of replacements for Tony. Tony, who turns 28 in March, has been reminded that time is precious in football, and he recently declared after signing with Jonathan Barnett's world-renowned agency CAA Stella that it feels like a fresh beginning. Never underestimate the power you have to take your life in a new direction. The England striker also outlined his admiration for both Arsenal and Liverpool respectively during a recent sit-down on the Diary of a CEO podcast and he said, The next club I go to, if I was to move, would be the right club. I've been a Liverpool fan my whole life, but from a young age I've also liked Arsenal. He will be welcomed back into the Brentford fold with open arms in late January, particularly considering they have now only won one of their opening six top flight matches but the Bees are also now planning for life after their attacking talisman, which suddenly looks somewhat bleak following the 3-1 home defeat against Everton at the weekend. The G Tech Community Stadium hierarchy tried and failed with club record proposals for Brennan Johnson, Fiorentina's Nicolas Gonzalez and PSV's Johan Bakayoko this summer, indicating the cash is there to be spent. Transfer funds would be undeniably bolstered by the sale of Tony and Brentford are thought to be looking for a fee in the region of £60 million to rubber stamp his somewhat inevitable departure. Club scouts are already working on identifying potential replacements, with Club Bruges' Antonio Nusa among a long list of players Brentford are monitoring. When quizzed on whether he expects offers for Tony to land on Brentford's doorstep in January, Frank told Sky Sports' Monday Night Football, Yeah, I'm just focusing on Brentford. I had a long meeting with him, it was good to have him back in, we presented him with the plan and we're just trying to create Ivan Tony 2.0, the beast. For me, he's one of the best strikers, as a striker number 9, I don't see many out there who is better in the world than him. Of course you have Harry Kane, Robert Lewandowski, Erling Haaland and these types, but not many. He scored 20 goals in the Premier League last year, in of course a very good Brentford side, but of course we are not creating as many chances as the top 6 or 7 teams. So imagine him in a top team, he'd easily score 20, 25 goals for me. I think he's composed, he's a good finisher, top mentality, so I understand why clubs are looking at him.